A uh, good day, good day. Rise and shine. There comes a day when the casserole connoisseur does not want to eat casseroles. So today, we get on our horse and we ride to Minneapolis. We go to the roots of the juicy Lucy hamburger battle. And today, we bring the battle in here. And we're gonna make that burger. Anabolic as fuck. So if you're with me and you're ready to go to war, let's start the video. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Job versus fitness you guys saw the intro in today's video we are going to the bar that's right we are going to the bar but we're not going there for this you know because it's 11 o'clock in the morning i've been working on the railroad tips to make this recipe but we're going there for the food the first one being the juicy Lucy hamburger which started all the way in Minneapolis and has spread through the world but now we're bringing it here in the kitchen we're gonna make it anabolic it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be delicious it's gonna be nutritious you name it you call it so Step into my kitchen. Let's get it started, baby. All right, guys, so for our first ingredient, we are going to need a pound of, you already know, 96.4 lean ground beef. We're just gonna cut her open. And now for our ingredients that we're gonna season the beef with, we are going to use yellow mustard, one tablespoon. One tablespoon of seasoned salt. One tablespoon of onion powder. One tablespoon of garlic powder. And three grams of black pepper. Freshly cracked, please. So we are in the anabolic kitchen, so you already know we're gonna use our hands and get a little dirty. All right guys, so after you are done beating your meat, we're gonna weigh out four, four ounce balls of beef. Then we're gonna roll each one into a ball. Oh. 
Now that we have our four balls, we are gonna put them each one by one onto the parchment. We're gonna get a blunt object. I'm using a little skillet. And we're gonna smash these burgers down. Like so. And then we're gonna just repeat the process for all four. So for today guys, we're only gonna make one burger. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two of these patties in the fridge for tomorrow or later on. And we're gonna continue with our Juicy Lucy or our Lucy Goosey, Lucy Goosey. I mean, we've all known one in our life. Anyway. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this back. Take this back. We're gonna grab two slices of Velveeta cheese, chop them up into little pieces and put them right in the middle. Now for this, you can use any kind of cheese you want. You can use fat-free cheese, pepper jack, pepper jack, pepper jack cheese, mozzarella cheese, Swiss cheese. I mean, whatever floats your boat, man. You know, again, that in this kitchen, we do not use fat-free cheese. Once you have the cheese on top, you're gonna grab your other patty and put her right on top of this one. And then you're gonna form the shape of a burger. You're gonna wanna make sure that these edges are closed so the cheese does not leak out. She's a big old patty, isn't she? Well, she's not a patty, she's a Lucy, but you know what I'm trying to say. So, I, I'm so sorry, I, ha I had to get on one knee for this, uh, for this scene, just for the angle. Will you marry me? Anyways, so we are here next to our skillet which is currently being warmed up at a medium heat. We're gonna grab two slices of center cup bacon. Guys, I know you guys love turkey bacon, but turkey bacon is not bacon. It should not be called, it should be called turkey product because I mean, it's not bacon. Instead of that, get yourself some center cup bacon. Again, center cup bacon is technically pretty much low fat bacon and it tastes just as good. So we are going to Put this on our skillet on a medium heat. We're gonna let the fat render just a little bit. Like I said, this does not have a lot of fat in it. So it's not gonna bleed fat out like normal bacon would. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it down there. It's gonna take, we're gonna leave it there for a good five minutes. So all that fat can render onto the skillet. And we're gonna use that same fat to start cooking our burger with. Let's go. <laughs> All right guys, so our bacon is pretty much almost done cooking. So before we start cooking our burger, we're gonna grab one more ingredient. We're gonna sprinkle it on top of our burger. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. 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 Worcestershire sauce. Uh, we're gonna add some Worcestershire. We are going to add some Worcestershire. Focus, Josh. We're gonna add some Worcestershire. Shut fuck. Worcestershire. We're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce to our burger on each side and start cooking. We're gonna crank the heat up right below high. We're gonna get our Worcestershire. Uh, we're gonna get our sauce. Fuck it. We're just gonna call it sauce. We're gonna sprinkle some on top. Just in case you were wondering, uh, one tablespoon is zero calories. And in she goes. All right guys, so after four to five minutes, a crust should form underneath. Once you see that crust form, you can grab a little bit more Worcestershire sauce. Put a little bit more on top. And we are gonna flip her over. All right guys, so our burger is almost ready. I'm gonna grab just a regular white hamburger bun 
I'm gonna spray it with some butter spray, put it in the air fryer for like a minute or two to let it brown up just a little bit. And then we are ready to assemble our Juicy Lucy. Lucy, I forgot one thing guys. I forgot to add the bacon. It's right here on the side, all lonely. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right now. It's like a really messy burger, man. But it's just like oozing cheese. It's just like just waiting to pop. We are here for the taste test. I mean, this looks pretty damn crazy and um, the macros, I just looked at them right now, they're insane. So let me take a picture for the gram. If you don't follow me on the gram, follow me on the gram. All right, so, Juicy Lucy, cheese stuff, you could put anything you want in the middle of this. I mean, use your imagination. You could literally do whatever you want with this burger. Um, the macros are insane. I'm about to read them to you right now, but first things first, man. We gotta go in for a bite. I mean, this looks really crazy. Wow. For this recipe, I took two steps that I've never taken before, but doing a little bit of research, I came across the fact that if you season your beef with mustard and you add Worcestershire sauce, nice. If you added that sauce before you cook it, I mean, the beef flavor just comes out it tastes like an amazing burger. I don't know if you could tell, but this meat is pretty charred. And I love, I love charred burgers. This is an amazing, amazing burger recipe, guys. This tastes just like 4th of July. You know how you always have that one uncle that barbecues on 4th of July and nobody could touch his skills? It doesn't matter who wants to cook, this uncle is like, the top-notch king barbecuer of the family. Mm. This is awesome. This is awesome. Now, it's time to redo the macros on this Juicy Lucy bacon cheeseburger. The macros for this entire burger, which is filling as hell, jam-packed with protein, and I mean the taste, man. The taste on this burger is like unmatched. I want you guys to try this burger. For this whole burger, it is 530 calories. You get a whopping 63 grams of protein, 29 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of fat. 63 grams of protein on a hamburger. A burger stuffed with cheese and bacon and pickles and whatever the hell you want to add to it, man. In the history of the Josh versus Fitness channel, I have only finished eating something in camera one time, and that was Nick's McChicken, because that shit was like, I, I didn't even finish, I didn't even realize that I finished it. I feel like this is gonna be number two, man. It's not to say at all that all the other recipes were not good, because they were fire. Sometimes, you just don't want to get off your seat. Amazing burger. I highly recommend you guys give this one a shot, man. I feel like I'm giving you guys the In-N-Out casserole burger. 
Uh, I've given you guys the Juicy Lucy Burger, which is like a bar food. That chili cheeseburger casserole coming soon. With that being said, guys, I will end the video here. Thank you guys. Oh, sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you haven't already. And if you guys want to see any kind of videos, recipes, challenges, whatever, drop it down below. Once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. And you guys already know, I'll see you on the next video.